Last week was a quiet week. A disturbingly quiet week that saw our build grind to a veritable halt. Today is the second day that Smoke and John hasn't arrived at work. The reason Smoke and John did himself some damage and it will take a while to heal. I was also hoping to share the moment we fired up Mirai's engine for the first time in well over a year. But things were also very quiet on the engine front. The guys are just too busy to complete everything on Mirai's engine. However, as they say in the classics, you can't keep a good man down. And this week the chain smoking skinny guy is back at his post. I take things into my own hands regarding some interior design elements. And we live in hope that this week is the week that we will fire up Mirai's 500 kilogram power plant. All this and so much more in episode 72 of A Dream Called Mirai. Monday morning brings us the welcome sight of Smoke and John back on the job. It is a new week, it is a new day, and yes, we are going to have a lot of challenges. And behind me, we have got Hopalong Cassidy, who is back on the job after breaking his foot. So now tell me that, what, what did you do? Missed it. So you come on and you step on the corner like that, and it's um, painful, and I went down. And what's the damage? Broken foot. <laughs> how, how long must that stay on for? Maybe six weeks. Ouch. I mean, this is an oak who could bounce on an elastic band a meter off the ground and he goes and falls downstairs. So I don't know, you know, these lighties today. Anyways, we, uh, we got a lot to do this week. Hopefully we are going to get to our motor. Uh, she's standing there waiting for Pete to climb into and uh, finish the assembly and hopefully fire it up soon. So yeah, hopefully we're going to have a productive, busy week. After the go slow of the past week, we really do need to up the game regarding the speed at which we are chugging along. The bank balance is not looking good and we still have a long way to go. The chances of Brahm and his team meeting our completion date of the 30th of May is scrawl. Very scrawl. I was a bit irritated last week because I felt that even though uh, John wasn't here and working on the vehicle, we could have started doing stuff on the fiberglass panelling on the side. But I chatted to Andre this morning and next week he is going to start with the fiberglass work. And that's a big job, but it's something I'm really looking forward to. But in the meanwhile, I think I'm going to step in and try and do my own hand at designing what our dashboard should look like. Because once we have that design and I can give it to Damien, our auto electric guy, he can start to make the harnesses for all the electricals in, uh, in the driver's cab. I went really basic in my design. I found a dash of an old bus and I want that layout. I want it to be simple, straight lines. And the finish on it, I'm probably looking at that, that artificial Kevlar look, um, which is that checkered, black checkered sort of look. You'll know what I mean. Um, I think it'll just round it off really, really nicely. Not Kevlar. Kevlar is what Ukrainian women and children should be wearing as the madness continues. I meant a carbon fiber weave finish. We have not seen Sweet Damien around for a good few weeks. And he made a brief appearance to strip away all the wiring in the cab to get the space ready for when we can get around to finally installing the engine. It is Tuesday morning and uh, things are moving along nicely. You can see that fan I bought for the front. Um, there was a, the steel one. Apparently that has got much better cooling properties. Uh, the guys have started to assemble it and so the assembly is coming along very nicely and I just came back and collected our totally reconditioned clutch and what's it called a pressure plate. So all the goodies are here. The only one that hasn't come in yet as part of our system is the radiator. Pete has been working hard on the engine and I do see progress in that department. The only way I can tell there has been progress is because the neatly laid out components are way less than last week. This engine weighs about the same as that little blue jobby. And the plan is to start this baby soon. In order to do that safely, Rocky needs to step in and reinforce the stand. 
Rocky's been tasked with strengthening the frame that the engine is on. I mean, you can just imagine if the guys start this up and that frame falls apart, you're going to have a 500 kilogram engine going ballistic on the floor and you don't want that. So one has to make sure that it's pretty secure. But even Rocky has pulled away to work on another East Coast scratch and dent project, an old Land Rover Defender restoration job. The guys have spent weeks on this vehicle. As they scurry around the landy like ants attending to their queen, Mirai's engine stands alone. Forlorn. However, across at Mirai, one-legged smoker John is busy giving our woodwork some loving attention. What Smoke and John has been doing is he put a just a coat of white paint on and then has sanded it down to get the grain coming through and then we're gonna put a clear varnish on top of this just to seal it off and make it look very lacquer. This is hard work that needs a lot of elbow grease. The layer of white PVA sinks into the wood and once sanded down, the white highlights the wood grain giving us the grainy effect we are looking for. Smoke and John's efforts, however, are hampered by our dear electricity supply company who once again cannot deliver regular power to our country. If you were considering buying an eco-friendly electric vehicle, I would seriously reconsider. Eskom has upped our load shedding to stage four. So, for all you oaks who have got little electric cars, <coughs> sorry for you, Bruce, sorry for you. My gloating was interrupted when I went to collect the radiator we took in for reconditioning. I feel like giving somebody radiation therapy, which would involve dinging them over the pip with my radiator. I just collected my radiator from a company called Sheppy Radiator in Port Shepston. That cost me 9,600 Rand. Turned it upside down so you can see for nine and a half, almost ten grand, they couldn't have even been bothered to sort out that little bit that is corroded along the top. If you scratch the paint away, you can see it's just been painted over and it's still like rusted underneath there. So this is disgusting, disgusting work. And this is the kind of cuck I have to put up with from local suppliers down here on the lower south coast. And I am so gutful. I am seriously considering going on a hunger strike to make some of the businesses on the lower KZN South Coast sit up and take note of how pathetic their business ethos really is. I am off to a good start as I have already lost a whack of weight since I weighed in at 124 kilos in September. I am only 2.3 kilos away from my goal weight of 105 kilos, having clapped over 16 kilos off my petite frame. On second thoughts, a hunger strike will not work as these guys don't give a toss. I shall rather count to 100 to calm down and watch as Peter starts to assemble the clutch and flywheel, getting us a little bit closer to the stage that we can start the motor. How I usually work is I do my shooting from a Monday to a Thursday. Then on a Thursday I like to have written all my script up and then I've got Friday if I want to pick up a few extra shots. And then I edit uh, a Friday and a Saturday, and then Sunday I don't do anything, and a Monday we broadcast these little inserts. And I was hoping that by now we would, it's Friday afternoon, have a motor that's running. We don't. Brahmi, I think the people are getting cutful with me telling them that the motor's gonna run. Now, what, what's the story? <laughs> Yeah, hectic week, hectic. I'm telling you, hectic. Uh, we, we fought it with the Land Rover here the whole week. About uh, load shedding. Uh, we had so much trouble this week, but uh, it's nearly done. It's, we, we just need like an hour on it, and it's, it's going to start up. So I think early next week, by next Monday, week. definitely, it will start Monday. Okay. That is our plan. Uh, most of the cars is going out now, so and all the people that was cross with me is now smiling there's just a use that i need to get smiled <laughs> a few smiles out of you but uh, that will happen on monday morning i'm sorry for that cool hopefully next week we do get this thing fired up because it is really holding things back now 
Yeah, I just want to know it works. It's important to know that this thing works. But that's it for this week. And uh, you guys must look after yourselves and keep safe. Remember to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. You will find us under A Dream Called Mirai. Until next time, keep your dreams alive.